can fit. We do that too. You know, but but we usually, you know, we usually wear some people down. We got some open looks that we didn't get earlier in the ball game, and we knocked them down. So it really obviously helped. They go on that 12-0 run in the second quarter. What were you telling to get the guys settled down and, and get things back down to two going into halftime? Well, they were a little hyper. You know, we we got we didn't we couldn't run in our stuff. We took some bad shots. You know, we were a little bit out of sync. We did some different things defensively because of the big guy, and we missed a couple coverages on defense, and that hurt us. So we had to rebound back. How, how did you feel you you handled the big guys? That was a big question coming you know in. What? We talked about halftime. I don't, I don't know what he got the second half. But we figured we could tire him out. You know, and he's still, at the end of the game, he's still big, though. You know? <laughs> we talk about uh, uh, Barrio and, and Quinn's efforts, you know, from the outside. Just, I mean, such a spark, you know, lighting up the crowd and the teammates. And... Well, you know, we're not very big, so we kind of like live and die by the triple. You know, we, we've died by it in the first half, and we live by it in the second half again, too. Uh, Quinn's one of those guys that every time he shoots, he figures he's going to make it. And he's actually struggled a little bit the last couple of ball games. But he's not afraid to take the big shot. And Nick's not afraid to take Nick's more of a driver. But uh, Nick Baldwin is relentless. Totally relentless. We talked about that all year long. And, you know, we don't turn the ball over a lot because the ball's in Dario's hands. And, and you got to have that these days. He does a great job. He stops on a dime. After you hit that third one in a row there to open up the lead, just what talk about what's going through your head at that point? Well, I looked at the clock and we had three minutes to go. Yeah, that's what was going through my head, okay? <laughs> but we we, we, handled, we figured, you know, if we could we could run some clock on them, if we get the, you know, we get the lead and they just follow us instead. Because we, we, we were set, we, we knew we were quicker than they were at that point to hold the ball, and so they just decided to follow and we hit some free throws. Coach, thank you. Thank you. Coach, regional title. Just talk about how this feels, and, and talk about this group and their ability to overcome some some tough stretches in this game, but still they fought through. Well, I think you know, we, just, they're just relentless. You know, they like each other. You know, it shows the brotherhood on the back, and that's what we are. You know, our kids, uh, our kids are cheering. All of them are involved in it. Again, our practices have been good. It's just a culmination for a good year for the kids. You know, and I'm so proud of them and happy for the community. Happy for you. That's, that's the great thing about coaching in a small community. They were here tonight. Yeah. They were very loud, so that's super for them. All right, Quinn Tyson, first of all, just talk about regional champs. What's going through your mind right now? It feels awesome. It's awesome. Uh, it's something you can look back on throughout your whole entire life. I mean, it's awesome. You talk about, let's start with the, the second quarter. You guys, they went on a 12-0 run after you guys got off to a good start there. How were you guys able to kind of bring the lead back down and, and get things under control there? Uh, we stayed together as a team. I mean, when something doesn't go your way, you got to stay together. And uh, we kept fighting, kept fighting, and we got back in it. And in the third quarter, you know, Dario comes up with some big shots. Talk about his performance there and get, to get you guys the lead going into the fourth. Um, he stepped up big time. I mean, these whole playoffs, he stepped up. He's, he's probably averaging 20 a game in the playoffs. I mean, it's awesome. We're working together as a team. And then, obviously, in the fourth quarter, you guys both go cold to start the quarter. Those three three-pointers in a row from you, Nick, and then you again. Just take me through that and, and what, what was going through your mind during that stretch. I mean, uh, I can't explain it. I mean, Once you hit the first one, did you did you start to get some confidence? And then talk about that third one where you f kind of feeling it after Nick hit the second one. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, when you can get help from your teammates and uh, Dario stepping up, Nick hitting that one, um, it feels awesome.